Hello everyone, it's time for a new video and today I'm bringing you something that I've been working on for ages and that is a reading vlog of books with ugly covers. You know, the saying don't judge a book by its cover has been said so many times before and yet most people judge books by their covers and I feel like it's natural to not be drawn to something that isn't aesthetically pleasing for us and I just wanted to see if these books even though they have ugly covers, are actually really good on the inside. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I have been working on it for way too long. And without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first book is The Lady Always Wins by Courtney Milan. This book is a novella and it has slight second chance romance vibes because the two main characters used to know each other. They were kind of friends and kind of had crushes on each other, but then just shit happened and then they didn't see each other for a while and the main character got married and now she's a widow and the love interest is back in town and shit goes down. I'm reading The Lady Always Wins by Courtney Milan. I'm having quite a bit of fun already and I've only read 15 pages, maybe 20 tops. Uh, which is actually like a lot considering it has I think less than a hundred pages. It has like 98 It is really fun so far really lighthearted. I finished reading The Lady Always Wins by Courtney Milan I think I'm gonna give it four stars. The book wasn't perfect um, and there was something that Simon the love interest kind of did or wanted to do and I was like not very good <laughs> But it was like acknowledged that it was not a good thing and like, you know, it was just that like both of the characters made some mistakes but they made up for it and they acknowledged it and it was really fun and super short. I would definitely recommend it if you just want something short and sweet. <laughs> I really like the characters and yeah, it was a success. <laughs> so this book was really fun. Like I said, I gave it four stars. It wasn't a complete five star for me, but it was such a fun experience. Like I flew through it. I really enjoyed it. And again, Courtney Milan is amazing and she is so underrated and you really need to check out her books. The next book was Play With Me by Alicia Rye. So I really am not vibing with the red colors on the cover and I just don't think it's very pretty. I've been reading Play With Me by Alicia Rye and it is very interesting. I'm currently 30% into the book. The plot is basically that the main character is a jewelry designer and the love interest. He owns a casino. They were like high school sweethearts and they broke up and now they, you know, just kind of run into each other and shit goes down. <laughs> it is very, very steamy. It is a novella. I don't really know how to express my feelings about the book properly. So I think I'm going to update you once I'm done with it because, again, it's quite a short book. This book was a wild ride <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. I just really liked the couple. They had an amazing chemistry. It was kind of like a second chance romance that I really loved. The next book that I chose for this is Tough Guy by Rachel Reed. So I just quickly want to comment on the cover of this. This isn't something that I would call an ugly cover, really, because <laughs> it's just a shirtless guy. The title doesn't look weird or anything, and it's just completely fine, like a standard romance cover with a shirtless guy on it, so I'm absolutely not saying that the guy is ugly or anything of that sort. It's just that, um, first of all, I wanted an excuse to read this book for a video, because I love this series by Rachel Reed. They're all three male male adult romances that pretty heavily deal with mental health and Rachel Reed is amazing and I need more books from her and I just wanted to include it in here even though the cover isn't really ugly. I'm almost halfway through Tough Guy by Rachel Reed and I am enjoying it so much. It is definitely quite slow burn and the 
one of the characters, especially Ryan, has he has anxiety and he has a lot of baggage and like low self-esteem and so you know that's kind of holding him back and I love the dynamic between the two characters. Um, in this case, uh, Ryan is a hockey player and Fabian is a musician, so I love that as well. And the thing that I also absolutely love about it is that um, both of the guys have, especially Fabian, but both of them have friends and they're there quite a lot and they're really cool and really fun and, you know, in romance a lot of the time. There aren't really that many other, like, characters than the main couple, which is kind of, like, a part of the genre, but it's still really great to see some amazing friends and everything, so I am really, really, really enjoying the book. So this was just an absolutely amazing romance. I was just so invested in the characters, and it just made me feel so many things and it was steamy but also super cute and romantic and like I just loved it like I loved it so much I loved the aspect of like the music there and then the hockey and just this book de heavily deals with with anxiety and I have mentioned this before in my channel but I just love the fact that this whole series deals with hockey players having mental health issues because that's a very important conversation to have, you know, like mental health with guys who are supposed to be super stereotypically manly and just addressing the issues of like toxic masculinity and how that comes with like the super strong stigma around mental health and I just, I don't know, I felt like the book does that so well and I just loved it. Like, I love romances that are super amazing, wonderful romances, you know, like I ship the couple so hard and like I root for them and it's amazing, but at the same time the book deals with some more heavy, more important issues and just, I feel like it often, it just balances itself out so well and I'm here for it and I really recommend Rachel Reed. I loved this. Another success and this was a complete five star, so we have a five star in this video. And okay, it's not with a book that has a super ugly cover, but <laughs> it works. I'm happy. The next book is The Foxhole Court by Nora Sokovitz. This book is a new adult contemporary kind of about a team of sport players. They basically play this sport that I don't remember the name of that is kind of like lacrosse but it's a fictional sport. I still don't really know anything about it really because I've only listened to like 6% of the audiobook so far but I was already having some thoughts so I thought I could update you. This book is supposed to be YA but to me so far I'm kind of getting a more of a new adult vibe and the main character gets basically recruited into this really elite team and the coach of that team kind of wants to give a chance to people who normally would not get a chance because of their just like life circumstances and things like that. And so the main character gets recruited and he has a very troubled past. Um, his dad is some kind of like a murderer crime asshole <laughs> and his mom is dead and he kind of mostly like sleeps at the school and he deals with a lot of trauma. I really don't like reading dark books in the sense of like murder and like dangerous people especially if it's family. I'm just like that's something that I'm kind of like makes me very uncomfortable. I got the audiobook and so far even in the first chapter there were like four or five characters and I was just like holy shit like it was a lot to process. I think it's just gonna take me you know a few chapters to just kind of let it all sink in but for a moment I was so confused. I'm gonna go keep listening and I think I'll update you tomorrow and wow I'm really curious to see what it's gonna be like. I think I could enjoy it but yeah, I just don't love, like, secrets and, like, dangerous shit, especially in, like, contemporary books. Like, in fantasy, it's super different. Like, I don't mind. 
but in contemporary it just makes me feel so uncomfortable but I do think I could enjoy this so it's the next day and I am halfway through the book and I'm kind of having mixed feelings and I am feeling really tired it's like it's the middle of the day and I don't know why I feel tired but the book is unhelping really there are lots of characters and they are all really different and it took me a while to kind of wrap my head around, you know, like the names, who is who, who is his, who is whose brother and what. And I'm still kind of confused with a few characters that don't appear there that often. I'm like, what? But mostly, like, I understand the main, most important things, so it's fine. It would probably be better to read a physical book of this. I do understand why people would like it and I can see things that are done well there and yes but I don't think it's for me and for a moment I considered DNFing it which is something I never do but I'm like maybe I should do that more <laughs> and I do think that the characters are done really well because like I said they're all really fleshed out and even though there are so many of them and I would think there wouldn't be time to actually like, develop their personalities and everything, I feel like I can see that they're all different. And they're quite unique characters as well. But the thing that I just don't like is the overall vibe and how kind of serious it is in the sense that, like I said, the main character's father is literally a murderer and all of the characters have just dealt with so much. Like I said earlier, I don't really DNF books. But at the same time, I just think, like, especially if I don't buy the book, since, like, this was on Scribd or, you know, um, I, there are so many books that I want to read and why should I spend my time reading a book I'm not completely loving, you know? I really don't like the vibe at all and, you know, I, I don't really have that much new to say because I haven't listened to that much more. Since I last talked to you, something just happened. Some, like, the teammates of Neil, the main character, they kind of did something to him that I absolutely hated. And so this book is just unfortunately not for me. I definitely don't think this is a bad book and I understand why people would like it, but I'm just not feeling connected to anyone here. So this book ended up being a DNF like I said, and it's definitely not a bad book, and it's super popular, so th this is definitely an unpopular opinion, and I am absolutely not saying that this book is bad. It is not. Like, I could definitely see things that were good in it. It's just, again, like, it's just not my vibe. It's not for me. Then the next book is The Princess Trap by Talia Hibbert. So again, I'm not saying the guy is ugly, but it's just like, he, to me, has a bit of a creepy vibe and it's just like not something that I want to feel when I go into a romance. Never really hesitated to pick up this book because I know that Talia Hibbert is the queen of adult romance. This is a royal romance and it was fun. So I started reading The Princess Trap by Talia Hibbert and this book is a royal romance. The two characters are caught making out in public and they, um, to protect the prince's image, he says that they're engaged and so there is fake dating in it where the heroine has to pretend that she is his fiance. And basically the hero also, he kind of like has had a lot of scandals, so that's why he said that she was his fiance, because he could, just couldn't afford to be caught making out with, you know, like a random girl somewhere. I am enjoying it. I'm 18% into the book, and I have been re reading it really quickly. The one thing about this book is that everything happens really quickly. Like, the beginning definitely feels rushed. Like, they kind of, like, insta-lovey or, like, insta-lusty, <laughs> where they just kind of immediately go out for lunch without knowing anything about each other, and so that felt a little bit rushed, but it's not something that I mind it right now. I actually kind of, like, it's exactly what I need right now, I feel like. I just want a fun, quick-to-read romance, and this is giving me just that. I finished reading The Princess Trap 
I really enjoyed it. It definitely wasn't perfect. Some things that felt a little bit weird when it comes to the way that the relationship developed and everything. When I said that it feels kind of rushed and insta lovey and stuff like that earlier, it did kind of change because basically when they catch the making out and everything, Cherry, the heroine, she kind of gets angry because she wasn't told that, you know, Ruben, the guy, is actually a prince. So she feels betrayed and everything and so she gets angry at him for a while. So then it takes a while for them to actually like get together and figure out their feelings and everything. So then it didn't really feel that rushed. And what I find amazing is to see how much Talia Hibbert has grown as a writer because this is one of her older works and you know I've read all of her newest releases and I can see so much growth but at the same time even her older books are absolutely wonderful she can do no wrong so if you love reading adult romance if you like royal romances I would recommend this so yeah I gave this book four stars it definitely wasn't the best but the thing that I just love about Talia Hibbert is that she has grown with every single book that she has written and at this point every single book that she puts out is a five star and I think that every single one that she will ever put out will end up being a five star for this me. This was a success. Like I didn't dislike a single book of these. It's just the foxhole court that wasn't for me but I like didn't hate it. So this went really great and if you would like me to do this again I would absolutely love to so tell me in the comments down below and I'll get to this again and stay tuned for two more vlogs that are coming up soon, hopefully in the next two weeks, where I also read books that have a certain type of cover. So stay tuned, get excited, and yeah, subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day and I'm going to see you soon in another video. Bye!